Good morning. Welcome to a service of morning prayer at the Cathedral of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Russ and I'm a member of the Cathedral Congregation. O God, the protector of all that trust in thee, without whom nothing is wrong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us thy mercy that, thou being our ruler and God, we may so pass through things temporal that we finally lose not the things eternal. Grant this, O Heavenly Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and dire desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of thy holy name, amen. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is the Lord our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Psalm is number 26. beginning on page 359 of the Book of Common Prayer. Be thou my judge, O Lord, for I have walked innocently. My trust hath been also in the Lord, therefore shall I not fall. Examine me, O Lord, and prove me. Try me in heart and mind. For thy loving kindness is ever before mine eyes, and I have walked in thy truth. I have not sat with vain persons, neither will I have fellowship with the deceitful. I hate the congregation of the wicked, and I will not sit among the ungodly. I will wash my hands in innocency, O Lord, and so will I go to thine altar, that I may show the voice of thanksgiving and tell of all thy wondrous works. Lord, I love the habitation of thy house and the place where thine honor dwelleth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The lesson is found in the book of Luke.
Jesus said unto his disciples, Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Given, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall man give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet withal, it shall be measured to you again. And he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? Shall they not fall into the ditch? The disciple is not above his master, but every one that is perfect shall be as his master. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in the bro thy brother's eye, but perceivest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Either how canst thou say to thy brother, Brother, let me pull out the mote that is in thy eye, when thou thyself beholdest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, cast out the first beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to pull out the mote that is in thy brother's eye. Here endeth the lesson. Today we remember Saint Benedict of Nursia, the abbot of Monte Cassino. He was born in the year 480 and died in 547. <clears throat> He contributed more than anyone else to the rise of monasticism in the West. The rule of St. Benedict was the foundational document for thousands of religious communities in the Middle Ages. To this day, the rule of St. Benedict is the most common and influential rule used by monasteries and monks more than 1,400 years after its writing. The rule of St. Benedict was written for monks living communally under the authority of an abbot. It has 73 short chapters that describe how to be obedient and humble and what to do when the member of the community is not. A fully fourth of the, of the rule regulates the work of God, known as opus dei, one-tenth outlies outlines how and by whom the monastery should be governed. <coughs> the monks each day devoted eight hours to prayer, eight hours to sleep, and eight hours of manual work, sacred reading, or works of charity. He and his twin sister, St. Scholastica, are buried in the restored monastery of Monte Cassino, located midway between the cities of Naples and Rome. It has been destroyed several times in wars going up and down the Italian peninsula and earthquakes, most recently in 1944 by the Allies in World War II. They determined, perhaps incorrectly, that the German Nazi forces were using the monastery to block the Allied drive to reach Rome. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Grant, O Lord, we beseech thee, that the, that the course of this world may be so peaceably ordered by thy governance that thy church may joyfully serve thee in all goodly quietness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, 
we, thine unworthy servants, do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs>